If you check out this podcast, if you listen to what I do and, I, and the content that I put out there, please, I, I would really, really love it if you would uh, either you know leave a comment, subscribe, rate this thing, tell other friends about it, tell your people about it, whoever that is in your life that you feel like could benefit from it. If you get value from what I'm talking about, please share it with other people because really what I talk about on here is just me sharing information that I've learned from other people. And I'm just passing it along. So maybe you can pass it along as well. So either, you know, take it from me or the people that I talk about on this podcast. Whoever I talk about on here, maybe uh, tell your friends about those people. Buy their books, buy their uh, video programs online, whatever it might be. Because I'm just trying to keep information moving. I have not come up with any of the information that is the subject matter of this podcast. I am just trying to keep information moving and, and keeping this world, this society, all of us moving forward. So please, if you listen and you like what I'm talking about, if you get any value out of it, if you could like it uh, wherever it is, like if it's on social media, like the post, if you're listening on iTunes or any podcasting app where you can leave a review, please do that. Please subscribe. Get that subscriber list up. And, and shout out me on, on social media. Find me on any of my platforms and say what's up. Screenshot a part of the conversation that you really enjoyed, something you want to share with people or something you want to know more information about. And trust me, I'm always happy to talk to people uh, whenever they have questions. So if you have questions or you want to add, you want to add something to it or you want to uh, maybe even object to what I'm talking about, I'm open. My ears are open to all of those different uh, ideas. So please find me on my Facebook, on my website, That'd be the best place to find me, robzradio.com, and just let me know what's up, because we have like 80,000 thoughts a day, okay, around 80,000 thoughts, is what our, that's what scientists say, like I'm saying, this is not my information, this is somebody else's information that's coming through me and hopefully getting to you, maybe for the first time, or maybe it's something you need to hear again, because, you know, when, when you hear new information, maybe sometimes it doesn't, it resonates with you, you like it, but... You don't know quite know how to apply it. You don't. You, you haven't heard it enough times where you can start to really put it into your subconscious mind and you can program it into your life. I'm going through that journey right now, so I'm hopefully sending you on that journey as well. And that's kind of my purpose. With these eighty thousand thoughts a day, we have these repeating thoughts over and over and over again. We don't even realize it. We're on autopilot most of the day. We're unconscious most of the day. Okay, when you think about when you're driving. It just happened to me today. I dropped my son off at school and we have to punch in like our, our punch code to check into the school so the school knows that we were there and we have to check out at the end of the day. I went to put the passcode in and I couldn't remember what it was. And I froze for a second and I'm like, ah, what is the passcode? I do this every single day. Why can't I think of it? Because it's just programmed in my brain. I don't think about it usually. I just do ba 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 boom, it's in, I'm done. And I move on with my life. But for today, for some reason, I had to stop and think about it. And when I had to stop and think about it, I started second-guessing and questioning, what the hell? What is the number that I usually put in when I do this? And, I, and the teacher was standing there. We were talking. And I'm like, I just forgot the passcode. It's like one of those things that you do every single day and you don't even think about. So that's an example of those 80,000 thoughts. These programs, it's like this. They run in the background of our lives and we don't even notice it. How do you reprogram those? Well, that's one of the main things of what this podcast is all about, creating superheroes. And uh, this season that we're in right now is all about creating these superpowers for us in our lives. So I would like to be somebody who uh, hopefully impacts you in your life. That would mean a lot to me. And it would mean a lot to me just to let you know. It would, it would mean a lot to me for me to know that you're listening, for me to know that you're getting value out of this and that you're going to share it with somebody else. So please, share that information with me and spread it around. Spread it around to other people. Today we're going to get into something that, oh boy, is a really important one, especially when you're trying to change, especially when you're trying to enact change in the world and you're trying to be that change, a change agent that you really know you want to be, that you really know you can be. Let's dive into it. I'm not going to ramble on any longer. Let's do it. This is Rob Z Radio. Hold up. That wasn't loud enough. That was not loud enough. This is Rob Z Radio. Now, you got to do better than that. Do better than that. This is Rob Z Radio. All right, we'll let that one ride. By the way, if you couldn't tell by that right there, I don't do any editing on this podcast. I don't edit what I'm talking about. It's usually just it comes from my mouth. 
straight out into the episode. I'm not a big fan of editing. I feel like it slows me down. Uh, and you might feel the same way about you. The editing slows you down. So try to do it in one take. Who cares if you mess it up a little bit? Nobody really cares. The only person that actually does care is you. Okay, and, and, and I guess that can kind of apply to what I'm going to talk to you about right now. Because your plans. What is your plan? What is your mission? What is your purpose? Okay. If you don't have a plan for yourself, you're going to live by somebody else's plan. I was just listening to this amazing uh, audio um, uh, audio series by Jack Canfield. Jack Canfield is one of the guys who created those Chicken Soup for the Soul books. And I always thought they were kind of BS. And I've never actually read them, to be honest with you. I just thought they were corny. Uh, but my mentor, Ray Overdorf, he's been on this podcast plenty of times. Ray has uh, given me this this series of, of CDs about how to build your self-esteem by Jack Canfield. Okay, it's from the 80s, so it's kind of like, it's kind of corny, but it's really, really good. I actually love how corny it is. And uh, because I've been having, you know, throughout my life, and I think we all do, unless you, you know, have high self-esteem, you have self-esteem issues or you have parts of your, of your life that wane and your self-esteem drops. And you got to figure out how do, I, how do I get my self-esteem back to where it should be? How can I make sure that it stays where it should be 24-7, 365. And that's something I'm super, super interested in. And in 2020, that's something that I really, really want to focus on. And in there, and I've heard this so many other times, but Jack Canfield just reinstated it in this audio series. By the way, go online. You can, I think you can buy that super cheap. It's pretty old. So uh, you can buy it super cheap online. It's Jack Canfield, How to Build Self-Esteem. I think that's what the series is called. But he was just talking about your plans. If you don't have a plan... You're going to live by somebody else's plan. If you don't have a mission, you're going to live out somebody else's mission. If you don't have a purpose, you're going to live out somebody else's purpose. And I, I, so many of us don't have a mission, don't have a plan, don't have a purpose. I didn't for so many years. I mean, for such a long time. I can recall being, I was probably in my late 20s. No, no I, was probably, I was early 30s. I was probably 31. And I went on vacation with my wife's family and my, my brother-in-law, Jack, who's very driven, very motivated, very successful, had asked me what my, what my skills are. And I couldn't tell him. He's like, what are your, what, like, what are three skills that you have? And I was like, nobody's ever asked me that before. I've never had to think about that before. And it made me uncomfortable and it made me like doubt myself. And I was just like, wow, I can't even name three skills. And I, I thought back to that and I was like, man, that's so... It's such a a, a tragedy that how many of us never get asked that question and uh, how many of us only ever get asked that question maybe once and maybe nobody ever helps us figure out what our skills are or how to cultivate that in our own minds because we may have skills. We all have skills. We have skills. We just don't know how to recognize them or be confident about them. And that was one of those things that really got the ball rolling for me. It was one of those things that got me like, all right, Rob, you got to shake off this shit. Okay. Whatever this is, that is this, this doubt, it needs to go. It's got to go out the door. You got to bring something real into your life. You got to bring some purpose, some mission, some planning into your life. Now I'm not going to say it happened overnight because really it's just been over the past year that I've really found my mission and my purpose. And really 2020 is just going to be the year where I'm really taking it to a brand new level where uh, it's, it's kind of a reality now, but I'm going to make it a real reality. It's going to be really, really real in my life every single day with everything I do. I'm going to have this purpose and this mission. And that is what's taking me to the next level. And as I say that right now, like I've come in here today with a purpose. I've come in here with a plan. I've come in here with a mission, creating superheroes, helping us find these superpowers within ourselves, not only finding them, but harnessing them, actualizing them. And then how do we use them? How do we hold that at the front of our mind? And how do we use that as a power that can drive us forward for success in our life, business, personal life, whatever it might be. But if you are living by somebody else's plan, which usually if you're in the nine to five world, You're living by somebody else's plan, somebody else's purpose, somebody else's mission. That's what an employee is. An employee works for a company and and carries out somebody else's mission because somebody started that company. It wasn't you. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say you need to go today, quit your job, start your own business, create your own thing. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that you need to start thinking about what is my plan? What is my purpose? What is my mission? Okay? What is my plan? What is my purpose? 
what is my mission? Go back to it. Try to figure that out for yourself because I found there's nothing more powerful than having that plan and purpose laid out that I can look at it and be like, there it is. That's exactly what I'm going after. I'm not chasing somebody else's thing. I'm not chasing somebody else's dream. I'm chasing mine, the one that I have. And I, I have emotion attached to it. So just, and I don't want to drag on here too long. I like to kind of keep these short for you and concise. So here's what we're going to do. Grab a piece of paper, get a pen or pencil. You can do it on your phone, but it's always better to write things down, like physically write them down. It just helps. Uh, it, it's scientifically proven that writing them, something down embeds it into your subconscious mind quicker. It just gets it into your brain quicker and, and helps it sink in quicker. So when you're writing this down, okay, I first want you to write down five to ten things that you're good at, okay? So you might want to pause this or just write down the notes, and then when, once this is done, go back and fill it all in. Write down five to ten things that you are really skilled at. Write down five to ten things that you are really talented in. Okay, I would love for you to, to do that for yourself. It'll make you feel better too. It'll make you, it, it's going to be a challenge at first, but when you do it, it's going to make you feel better. I promise you that. All right, so you write down those things. Now, what's a purpose or a mission that you have? Okay, what's a, what's a purpose or a mission or a plan that you have for the future? This could be for you personally. It could be for your family. It could be for your career. And like I said, so you could be still working a full-time job nine to five for somebody else and be thinking about the plan and purpose for your family, think about the plan and purpose for your health, the, the plan and purpose and the mission for your body, for your mind, those sorts of things. Maybe not the career, the new thing you're going to create that it's like a, an actual career, but the things that you're going to change about your life, the direction you're going to take your life in, all right? So write some of those things down. What what would that look like? And, and this is a, a if you're a fan of meditation, I would, I would go right now to meditating. Maybe you can't meditate right now while you're listening to this, but whenever you get a chance, I would sit down. If you've never meditated before, then I won't even call it meditation. I'll just call it uh, strategic thinking. You're going to sit down in a quiet room, okay? Make sure the room's dark, not like pitch black. I want you to be able to see when you write, but it's got to be dark, dimly lit, um, it's got to be quiet. Maybe have some like meditation music on in the background. Just go and YouTube and search meditation music. The 18 billion things will pop up. You can pick one of those. And then just sit there and let your mind just ask questions. And this might sound weird to some of you, but ask questions to the universe, which means you're just forming questions in your brain and you're just letting them go out. You're not trying to search for an answer. You're going you're gonna to think of the question and you're going to send it out outside of your mind into the universe and don't try to answer it and then just sit there and see what comes back right so I'm just going to practice it right now while I'm talking to you I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to ask the question out loud that I'm also going to ask my brain what is my mission for my family what is my purpose for my family and what is the plan that I will use to make that mission and that purpose happen? And normally I would sit there for minutes, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Let myself just, just, just be, okay? I'm not thinking. I'm not trying to make anything happen. I'm not trying to force anything. I'm just letting myself be, and that will cause all these things to start coming to me, okay? That'll start, the, that'll start having the answers come to me. And one of the answers I just got that just kind of boop, just kind of popped up in your head. And what you're going to do is you're going to get these things pop, popping up in your head and you're going to think, ah, that's, that's me thinking. Well, maybe, maybe not. But all, all thoughts usually do come from an outside source, right? They're coming in and boom, now you've created a new thought in your brain. So the thought that I got was uh, just overwhelming happiness, okay? Overwhelming happiness to where... I'm just having fun with my family. We get together. We just have a blast. We, we enjoy each other's company. Something I've been thinking about a lot, and even more so lately, is starting some sort of YouTube channel for my family. My son loves YouTube. My wife loves YouTube. I love YouTube. Why not create something that's a fun family thing that we could all do together that maybe would help other people? Right, that would help them uh, see what a great family dynamic, dynamic, what a great family dynamic is like, and then also that would, would help 
to uh, improve our family, to improve our own lifestyle, to pr- improve our own circle and make our lives better and more connected. And then also maybe it could be monetary at some point in time. So that's, that's as, as simple as you can possibly get with it. That's what I came up with. That's as, if I wanted to give you the most simple possible example, that would be the easiest way to do it right there. I just created something. Now I can act on it. I'm going to write it down and I'm going to make some action steps. And then you're going to look at it every day and you're going to put I am in front of the statement. So um, my thought was I'm going to have a, a, an unbelievably happy and fun family that creates, okay, I am, okay, let me, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to form this right here live on the spot. So give me a second here. I am experiencing extreme happiness and joy with my family. Okay. It's got to be present tense. I am, it's happening right now. Even if it's not happening, the idea is that if you keep telling yourself this, it will come to fruition because here's the beautiful thing about your mind. Your mind doesn't know whether the thing that you are thinking or seeing in your brain is real or not. It doesn't know the difference. Your mind cannot tell the difference whether it's real in real life, like physical touch, pinch yourself real, or you created it in your mind. Your mind doesn't know the difference. That's the amazing part. And that might sound crazy. I didn't make that up, okay? That's coming from science. That's coming from other people way smarter than I am. So trust me on that one. Now, once you've created that, okay, I am experiencing positive, happy, and loving family environments. Uh, You know, that. However that is, make it as short and sweet as possible. Put that I am in front. Have a happy, have have a positive emotion attached to it like happy. And keep it short, sweet, and direct. And now look at that every single day. Look at it before you go to bed. Look at it whenever you wake up in the morning. Close your eyes when you write it down and picture it. Pictures are stronger than words. Pictures are stronger than phrases. So if you can see the picture, then you're gonna be, your mind's going to be able to, to tap into it better. And you're going to feel it too. So when I picture this, when I picture this happiness and love with my family, I can see it happening. I can see us laughing. It makes me feel good. Okay, it makes me feel good. Now I'm starting to develop an actual real mental plan. Yeah, you can write a plan down on paper. Yeah, you can tell somebody your plan. That's also great. Telling somebody your plan is great. Writing it down is great, but have that picture. Hold it. Look at it. And then feel how it feels when you look at it. That's what you really need to do. I told you I was going to keep this short. I've already gone a little bit long, so let's wrap this one up. But I hope that you got some value out of this. I mean, that was really simple. That was, that was pretty basic stuff. But that is the beginning stages of you growing something new in your life. That is the beginning stages of you creating something amazing in your life. So go back and try that out. What were those steps again? Get in that room. Get in that dark room. Get that piece of paper out. Ask those questions. Wait for the answers. Write the answers down. Put the I am in front of them. Now, attach some happiness, some emotion to it, something jovial or something joyful to it. Attach that positivity to it and get that picture. Hold that picture. Now do that morning, noon, and night, right? It only takes a few seconds. Like, really, it just takes a couple of seconds. And over time, it's going to change your dynamic you're going to see it popping up because your brain the reticular activating system of your brain which i have an old episode about in uh, the archives here of the podcast that reticular activating system will start bringing those things to your life this isn't i'm not making this stuff up and it might sound ridiculous it might sound like some crazy science or whatever it's real stuff it's real life and i want you to experience it just as much as I want myself to experience it on a daily basis. So thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the podcast. Rate, review, tell people about it. Ask me questions. Hit me up on social media. Find me at robzradio.com. All my social media platforms are on there. If you're listening to this before February 28th of 2020, I would like to invite you to the Lit Business Leadership Conference, Leadership Impact and Technology in central Pennsylvania, February 28th. You can go to getlitcon.com. It's getlitcon.com and robzradio.com. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you next time. What are those 80,000 thoughts like? What are those 80,000 thoughts doing swirling around up there? Which ones do you want gone? Which ones do you want to keep? 
it's your decision. This is Rob Z Radio.